Hello everybody, we're, what we're going to try to learn today is as long as my asshole neighbor doesn't keep driving by with the goddamn motorcycle or dirt bike, whatever the fuck you want to call it, I will teach you and show you actually how you can actually go ahead and change your Mac address. Most people believe you can't actually change it. You look online and how to change it or you ask somebody, says it's not possible, which is a good thing. They, they believe that. Now to get your <laughs> Mac address changer, I'm just in a funny mood tonight. It's been 196 degrees today. As you can just pick one of these two places, jumbo files, WEF2, da da da. You can see it right in front of your screen. Now, when you get the jumbo files, you get to the second download, it's going to be grayed out. It doesn't mean you can't download it, just click it, okay? I get so many people that says your link doesn't work. Our links. Yes, it does. It just. The way they did the contrast, I can't help that. Now, <clears throat> same thing, with, well, file service is a little different. It's got a timer and all that, but Jumbo Files is direct. Anyways, right on to the goddamn point. Uh, the advantages of changing your IP is, uh, I'm sorry, your MAC address is to get a new IP. Um, also, other people in other countries who have been banned, people have moved, you know, like from forums and websites have moved, taken their computer with them, i.e. router 2 or whatever, and get on with a new IP address and everything else even reformat the computer and find out they're still banned and they can't figure out why which I think is kind of funny it's because of their MAC address that is on their devices and you're going to be able to change that and also use it for cloaking other MAC addresses which will fool devices in thinking that you are that device people have their reasons for that sometimes when you're setting up things you have a device conflict and the USBs or wherever uh, with a webcam versus you know, a Wi-Fi device or something, and you need to change the order. And people are setting up know what I mean. And one of the things that gets in the way, or dictates that order, is the, I had to change that, is the MAC address, which is very simple to do. At this point, it will be. And I'm going to show you how that's done. Also, it tends to hide your identity, considering the fact that you can use a MAC address from another device or another computer, and on the log files, it will appear as such, and they will not know the difference. As I said, here's six common belief is MAC addresses can't be changed, which is fine. Now, let's say you're at work or wherever you are and you're up to something. I prefer you guys don't use this for illegal reasons, but most of you, I'm sure, are up to when you see this. It fools the network to thinking you're somebody else logged on. And yes, you can get other people in trouble, but also you can divert the trouble from you. Now, we're going to go right over to this program here called MAC Address Changer. Uh, I can't show you how to change my output, my uh, main IP, because it's static. I believe the word is static when it stays the same. This is for the Broadcom 400. I am not using that. I'm using the wireless connection. So, first, let me show you my internal or my internal IP before it goes out. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Right here. It's going to show you. It ends with a 69. All right. Support 192, 168, 69. Remember to end here. 69 position. Yes. Well, for ha ha's and shits and giggles, now mind you, when you change your MAC address, it, it even tells you right here. It's 0 to 6 and A through F. You can't put G, H, 9, none of that shit. It's got to be 0 through 6 and A through F. So, just for illustrations reasons, I'm just going to put F, F, and yes, you can make it little swear words too. And you can hit change your MAC. It's, it's actually that simple. Now, some of you will have one device, some of you will have a bunch of devices. Right now it's changing it. It's going to take a moment. It has been successfully changed for this adapter. Now let's go see. I'm not online right now. It just because it kicks you off momentarily and puts you back on. So I can't click on the. Uh, here it is. Now connected again. I remember what I told you guys. And by the way, go to my website here, which is actually my network name, winxp76.webs.com. And here I am, 7.3. Now, since I didn't, I didn't use a MAC address from a specific device, but if it was, and this was somebody else's computer, they would see them logging on, not me. Well, this is a, yeah, it has been a very quick video, four minutes. Uh, you pretty much have the idea how this works, and you know what you can do, and uh, there's more things that I haven't mentioned, but, uh, you know, it's all a learning experience for everybody else. So download from the uh, web address I gave you, or web addresses I gave you, and definitely, most importantly, subscribe. Take care. Bye.